does traveling energize or drain you? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. I'd like to thank Gumby for uh, playing the airplane for me. I didn't have an airplane to use, so I used Gumby as an airplane. It, it works, right? It works. It's the internet. Everything works. Um, I'm, I'm going to put Gumby away. He's distracting. Uh, <laughs> I just got back from a trip, right? Uh, by the way, welcome back. This is Brian J. Pombo Live. I'm Brian Pombo. And I just got back from a trip. Uh, if you've seen some of the previous videos, you saw me uh, on the road. And we're, uh, I got to, got to do a lot of flying, a lot of uh, running around, got to give a speech. That was fun. Uh, got to hang out with some really great people. Um, and uh, uh, through it all, and, and also all the chaos that goes along with traveling, right? I missed a flight, so I had to wait a long time, pay a bunch more to be able to keep uh, going and get to where I wanted to when I wanted to and that's fine it's all part of the fun it's part of the adventure I don't mind that I know a lot of other people though that it completely drains their energy absolutely for me it's energizing I'll tell you my perspective first for me when I get I, I mean just being around airports I like the energy I like the energy of of movement of people going places doing things you got sports teams that are they're wearing their their jerseys and stuff and they're getting all pumped up about going somewhere or just getting back from somewhere you've got business people that are in business mode and doing their thing and talking on the phone you've got uh, people going to visit family and so on and so forth it's just it's just it's that type of energy I love I honestly do I don't I hate I'll tell you what I hate I hate um, the bureaucracy that has come around flying, I mean, it's just this cattle car mentality and this, uh, you know, we know better, just do what we say or we'll kick you off type of thing. And, you know, put your mask on and do this and do that. I, I know there's a there's safety precautions and everything else. The one thing about the airlines, though, is they're always adding on rules and never taking rules away it's always getting tougher and tougher the tsa was a lot tougher at one point to get through and that they've made some concessions as far as getting through there a little faster if you're if you're flying commercial which i was uh, but besides that, yeah, that, that, all that part's a pain. I can't stand that. Everything else about traveling I love. I love going to, I love uh, planning to go to the destination. I like driving. I like flying. I like riding in trains and going on boats. I just, I, I love it all. I really do. I'm really into that. And I don't know if it was the way I was raised or if it's something genetic or something wrong with me that makes me enjoy that type of thing. But I really do like it. Um, I know a lot of people, it drives them nuts. They, they hate staying in hotels. They hate being away from home. And that could be you. It may drain you of all of your energy. For me, I get back home, I'm on, I, I've got more creativity flowing through me uh, because of traveling, um, because of getting out of, out of my normal existence and going somewhere and doing something a little bit different it gets my creative juices flowing and I'm good for another two weeks to a month or so. I'm running off of that energy. Uh, but if it's demotivating to you, you shouldn't do it. And you should find every way to go about not doing it or doing it as little as possible. Or if you are going to do it, do it only on your own terms. And you've got to design your life to where it fits, whether you're one way or the other. You got to make it work for you. For me, I've got a family too. So I've got three kids and a wife that if I'm going for a significant period of time, I gotta figure out a way to bring them with me. I don't wanna leave them behind and just, just have to fend for themselves. I want them to come with me as much as possible or at least have one of the kids or two of the kids come with me or you know, part of the family. <laughs> but always, I like, I like people around me and I like to be moving. Uh, and when it comes to travel, that fits my lifestyle. I enjoy that. If it doesn't fit your lifestyle, once again, one way or the other, you've got to find a way to make it fit. And when it comes to business, which is what we talk about on this show, we're always talking about business owners, executives, people that are the boss that are doing stuff. You have to find a way to design your business to run around your preference. Because there's no reason to be in charge. There's no reason to continue doing what you're doing 
if it's depleting your lifestyle to an extreme amount, right? You've got to make it work for you, or at least you have to start working in the direction to make it work for you. And hopefully that makes sense to you. There's ways to go about doing this and you gotta talk to somebody who has experience. Find someone who has the lifestyle you want or find someone who knows how to design lifestyles. It's something that I kind of specialize in. I'm a business strategist, but I, my main purpose behind business strategy is to make the business owner or make the person in charge, make them their lives easier. Not by making other people's lives harder either, but making everything easier on every level and having that peace of mind that goes along with that. If that sounds interesting to you, I'm going to recommend you get a copy of my book, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. Now, don't be fooled by the title. The whole thing is about making your business so stable and so uh, free of competition that even Amazon.com couldn't knock you off that pedestal. So that's the first step, is really having an idea of where you're going in the long run with your business and how that fits into your personal life. You can get a free copy of Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business over at AmazonProofBook.com. You can download a digital copy. We also have some other uh, deals in there that you can get. Go check that out. I'll be back here tomorrow night. Join me again. I'd love to have a conversation and leave a comment. Let me know. You enjoy flying and flying and traveling and doing all that stuff? Or would you rather just stay at home? I'd love to find out. Hey, you have a great night. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.